I chose to share something that I care about and passionate about. And someone chose to come out and say, hey, I know something about this. How can I help? I think that's an amazing part of life. 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 My name is Conrad, and I've embarked on the mission to live my best life every day. And this season, I'm traveling around Japan, focusing on a new aspect of self improvement every week. This week, I explore what loving yourself truly means and how to do it consistently in your life. It's time to level up. This trip has been so amazing to meet different people and learn from their stories and, you know, just really understand more for myself what love really means, right? And in this case, for our friend Furu, it's just really amazing to see how he's defined loving himself as knowing when to quit, knowing when to leave the things that don't make sense for you, that don't make you happy, and instead building a brand new life. So today we went to a lot of shrines, which were so scenic, and it gave us the opportunity to really explore nature and feel immersed with the world. I'm not necessarily following any religious belief, but I am spiritual, and I believe that it's more than just me, it's more than just myself, and we are all part of one. Whatever that one is, I don't know, but I choose to believe that there's something greater than myself that I can live towards, I can be. And I think that kind of also bakes into how I think about life as a whole. Five years or six years ago, I was employed in the company and uh, I work and work and work and uh, overwork. I needed the rest. So every day I walk to this shrine and uh, I'm prayed, yeah. I recover, please recover, God. And uh, now, wake about. <laughs> so some other really amazing things that happened today was we were able to have just so many serendipitous moments. Our friend that we did the interview with yesterday that took us windsurfing took us today to see houses in Kamakura. Building houses around the world has been something that I've been dreaming about since I was young. And I was finally offered an opportunity to do that through our Family Without Borders, right? The co-living space that the Coex3 family is now organizing and running. So one of the things I wanted to do in the kind of the background of my mind when I was in Japan was to really think about how I could build another home here. We have a home in Singapore, we have a home in Australia, I'm looking to open some in North America, where I'm from. But how do I expand towards Japan as well? It's something that I was super excited about and really wanted to know how to do that, especially since I'm not necessarily a local here. All right? I don't know many of the local customs, I'm learning, but we're still getting there. So it colored me surprised when talking to our friend yesterday, and I mentioned the idea of wanting to start a house in Japan, and he said, oh, I used to run an Airbnb. And I know a realtor friend, let me introduce you. And now today we get to see a new place. Like it's just so amazing. And you know, being able to actually fulfill something that I you know, kind of categorize as one of my dreams, right? Being able to move towards my visions, taking a step towards that. And knowing that that was because of someone's help. It wasn't just because of me, it was because I chose to share my story with someone. I chose to share something that I care about and passionate about. And someone chose to come out and say, hey, I know something about this. How can I help? I think that's an amazing part of life. We looked at two houses. Um, one of them was a bit old or needed a renovation, but the next one after that was really a beautiful place. And uh, I'm just so excited to see how it might develop. But that's one way I love myself today, right? In many ways I love myself. I chose to immerse myself in nature. We did meditation in the park areas and the nature areas of the shrines. We kind of reflected and meditated on our life and what we wanted to do with it. And I consider that self-love, right? We're taking time out of our day to really focus on us and really understand more like what does being us mean? Like what am I meant to do on this world? Today we had the most amazing meal uh, I've ever had. <laughs> the absolute best tonkatsu place I've ever been, which if you don't know, it's like breaded pork cutlets. Just super happy about that. And throughout our meal, we actually had this amazing experience where at one point we didn't know how to mix the sauces. So someone from across us on our table came to help us out, a nice uh, elderly woman. And then uh, I dropped one of my chopsticks and her husband came and gave me an extra pair of chopsticks. And they don't even work here. They're not staff. They're just other patrons as well. But they chose to come out of their comfort zone and come and help out someone else, another human being. And I thought that was amazing. And we took that opportunity to interview them as well. Yeah. 
一緒にいるとハッピーになって。時々ええー。あ<笑>時々ええー。ええー。<笑>うん。うん。自分よりも人の幸せを大事にするかもしれない。他の人が何をしてほしいのか、何が必要かをいつも気にするようにしてます。ごめんなさい。自分だけで生きてないみんなで生きてるんだから、うん、人のこともよく見て、うん、観察して人に優しくするのはその人のためじゃないよ、ね、自分のためだよっていう言葉があるんだけど言葉だから、ね、人に一生懸命良いことをしてるとどんどん回って。情けは人のためなら幸せが自分に来るよっていうことがあるからそれが一番かな、ね、他の人をちゃんと思いやることが大事、うんねうん、あ,ありがとう、はい、ありがとう、うん、<笑><笑><笑> It was just so awesome to really hear from them their perspective of how to live a good life right、uh, what makes them so happy and Also, really、um, understanding what is the message that they'd like to share with the world. Because I believe that everyone has a message they want to send. And for me, the message necessarily doesn't need to be shared openly, right? It's not about pushing it to a million people. That's not really the thing. But it's like, hey, these are things that work for me. This, this is how I loved myself through my many years. In the morning, like, I had this amazing realization that the reason why I'm able to really make progress in my life improvement journey right now is because I'm away from a lot of the distractions and negative stimuli perhaps I was getting at home. And it's not to say that there was strong negative stimulus, right? But what I'm saying is that there are certain things that I was perceiving or my mind chose to perceive as negative. And in those In the presence of those things, it wasn't very easy for me to be able to break free from that and really get the chance to rethink my mental models, rethink the way I approach it because I'm in the middle of it. I'm constantly being barraged by you know, requests to do things, you know, friends are asking for help, you know,、uh, relationships to manage. There's just so much, and being away from all of it is just so helpful to really give me a chance to really de stress.、Uh, I think is a very general term for this, but more so like, you know, remove the negative stimuli and allow positive things to come into my life. These are the ways that I'm loving myself and I'm choosing to be a better person for myself, to show up for myself, right?、Uh, and hopefully this helps you in some way. This episode is brought to you by Our Family Without Borders, an impact project supported by the Coex3 Family Foundation. It's an innovative co living and co working experience where you can grow, learn, and live with amazing people around the world. What makes their home special is that you don't only choose the space, you choose the people. You are the average of the five people you spend the most time with. And if you spend time with people who are highly productive and passionate about achieving their goals, their behaviors will rub off on you as well. Ultimately, you're not just finding a room, you're joining a family. Every home is optimized for space. Convenience and location so that we can engage meaningfully as a family. Mutual respect is the norm. The members take care of each other as well as the house they live in and are excited to grow and level up together with you. Our Family Without Borders currently has homes in Singapore and Australia, with new locations opening up this year in Japan, US, and Canada. If you're a growth minded entrepreneur, Professional or student that is interested in leveling up together with other like minded people, check out their available rooms or reach out if you're interested in starting a home of your own. Konnichiwa, Masato. Hi, I have been living in New York for almost、uh, more than 20 years.